Take that, loser! John Innsbrucker again here at the Hawthorne webcast ah! desk. We're holding a T minus 40 seconds. What we've heard so far is we have a couple of issues we're working. One is the booster tank pressurization. Uh, final pressurization was just a little bit oh, I uh, hate long. It, I hate it. That's I not hate unusual. It. We've held a T minus 40 seconds before to pressurize. That appears to have been resolved. At the same time on the second stage. They're working some final purging. Uh, we should know very shortly if that is cleared and if we'll continue All to count right. that. Everyone, especially that person, <laughs> is excited to keep going. <laughs> like John said, we should know shortly um, if we are able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be Why able to lift off today. Me? Yeah, on Falcon 9, it's a little bit different Whoa! once we start propellant loading. We pretty much have to go at the targeted time. Otherwise, the propellants can warm up, and we may not have the performance for that particular uh, mission profile. It's a little bit different on and Starship. Folks, Fine. if I can interrupt, yeah. it looks like they're clearing all the flags, and we're going to release at T-40 minus seconds. That is amazing news. Amazing. <laughs> Team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. And I'm sure all of the rehearsals hey, uh, and have simulations that day. they've been doing have prepared them to evaluate this data quickly to try to get us in for today's launch attempt. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T-minus 40-second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the bleed purge on the Stage 2 Raptors. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that, and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40-second period, and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around, because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from wow. Starbase, Texas. Uh, yeah, baby. Cheering to close the start again. <laughs> it's -a me, Wario. Velocity increases. The density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out. Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Welcome 100 to seconds in the flight. 
Our next major activity is going to be second of the first stage. The Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship from Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. Whoa! And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Mike. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation. Oh, 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 oh! Our starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire oh, starship no. stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but oh I do want to remind everyone that everything ah, after clearing oh the tower God. was icing ah. on the cake.